All right. Um, so yeah, if you could just talk about, um, we're we'll start with Anwa and just kind of talk about your experience at Anwa and how it was like being there and hitting that first tee shot. Well, just to be part of the Hanwha was incredible. I mean, it was such a historical moment, really a milestone for women's sports. And to be able to walk up on that first tee with, you know, my my friends, uh, Sari Park, Lorena Cho, and Nancy Lopez, it was just, it was incredible. I mean, it was, you know, you compare things in your career, and, and of course I compare with some of my playing days, and that was very special, walking up on the tee. I thought I'd be more cool and calm and then I walked up there and I saw my family my kids and then I saw you know other members of Augusta National with their green jackets and I could just feel you know the tear coming down my chin and it was, it was really really cool. Great um, and then kind of what do you think that Anwa has done um, has already done and will continue to do for growing the game of golf for women? I think it's an amazing initiative I mean to I can just want to imagine what it would be to be an amateur today and know that you have a chance to play Augusta National, to be part of such an amazing organization. They've done so much for the game and know that you're going to compete against the very best of, you know, girls in your age and with similar passions and similar desire. I'm going to talk about an inspirational initiative for everyone around the world and I think it had an impact on just women's sports also, just outside the game of golf women in business, women just having a dream and maybe p to pursue something that, you know, that maybe they've thought about for a long time. So yeah, it's an amazing initiative and something I hope will continue for years to come because I think we're going to have to see a big impact. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll kind of switch gears to pace of play. Um, so just kind of want you to talk about your pre-shot routine and kind of how you got it down to what it became and, and just kind of how you got there. Yeah, my pre-shot routine is, you know, something I worked on for quite some time in the last 10 years or so as a professional. I, I mean, that was my way of handling pressure, my way of just getting ready for a shot and being consistent and having a routine to turn to when you stood, you know, on the first tee or important shot or coming down the stretch knowing just to focus more on the process and not so much on everything, you know, around you that, you know, have, can influence you in a, in a negative way. So, yeah, I think pre-shot routine has helped me tremendously, whether it's for a drive or putt or anything, just knowing what to do every single time to be able to keep that mindset consistent. Great. And then um, kind of just wanted you to discuss pace of play and how maybe the AJJ is kind of leading that initiative and trying to, you know, make pace of play a priority. Uh, I think pace of play should be a priority, and I think AJ, AJJ have done a super job uh, for several years now to really make sure that the young players are learning how to play, you know, obviously play good golf, but keeping at a pace that's, you know, that we should, ke uh, should keep. You know, I think we all know that the more time we take, a lot of times we make it more difficult than it really should be. I wish other organization was as uh, committed and, and dedicated to enforcing the rules and, and really make it uh, a priority. Uh, I think it's uh, it's important for the game to continue to grow, to keep a certain pace of play. I haven't heard a single player or a fan or a sponsor or a tournament that applauds slow play. So yeah, it's something that we need to continue to enforce and uh, especially as the professionals, I think uh, as you know, we have the responsibility to show that you can play good golf and, and keep in good pace. Right. And then uh, moving on to kind of the Onyx Foundation, so um, renewed the partnership. Um, so can you just kind of talk about what renewing that partnership between the Annika Foundation and the AJJ means? Yeah, I think the Annika Foundation and AJJ have, we got a great partnership. Uh, this is our 12th year and I think together we we have been quite successful. And, you know, so we, we welcome that. We welcome the expertise and the resources to really help us to provide a you know, first class event for these young ladies. Uh, you know, this year we have 18 different countries represented. So. You know, it's we're spreading the world, and and uh, we want to make sure that the players come here and they walk away with a memorable experience. So by having a partner like AJJ, makes it uh, a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. And then kind of with that, talk about what does that partnership mean um, for, I guess, women's golf in general, but also female junior golf. Yeah. No, again, I mean, the, the Anik Foundation is all about providing playing opportunities for the next generation, and I think AJJ have similar. Uh, mission obviously they they have um, quite a few 
voice as, as well but I think just focusing on on the girls golf you know the, the synergy is there and you know we share the same mission so I think you know putting two heads together we can really accomplish quite a few things so again very proud of the partnership and hopefully we can continue for years because I think we're we're making an impact on, on these young girls lives yeah um, all right so now it's kind of the more fun questions um, <laughs> okay so tomorrow, I believe it's tomorrow, is National Thesaurus Day. So we're going to try asking maybe some of the girls like a word to describe their golf game or something like that. So mm -hmm. what would maybe one kind of fun word or something to describe your golf game? <laughs> fun word. Um, I, I mean, I liked my game. I, it was very consistent. Consistent. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, favorite post-round snack? Favorite post? Um, well, normally after a round I would... I would eat more than just a snack. I I um I would prefer to eat something more substantial. So pasta will be on my list. All right. And last one, favorite golf course you've played? My favorite golf course. Well, I'm a big um, I mean I love Pine Valley. I played it once and I thought it was tremendous. So, yeah, I won't forget that experience. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. 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 Um, Thank you. Yeah.